Hey everyone. So I got a lot of comments on my video like how do I create this beautiful introduction? So I thought of showing my process. So in this series, I'm gonna make few videos for different approaches and tool. Also, how you can present your work like a pro. So I'm gonna take this video. You can always find the source file under the each video in the description. So you could download from the drive. Uh, here you can get all the assets, the top along with my work file. So what we gonna do here? So we can simply uh, record the screen and we can save it on local. So the same way we can export the image as well. Then open the new file. So maybe we can choose the outboard like 800 cross 600 like a dribble shot. Then open the folder. Then we can drag our recorded video. Video have any issues, so you will get this pop up because of this file format issue. So to resolve this, what we could do, so go to this website and drag your video in it. Then hit start. Once it's done, so you can download the file. Now you can able to add your video in a XD. So also you can check it as well everything is working fine or not then add one rectangle top of it maybe we could use radius 20 no border now select both of them and we can mask it so you could get that corner radius for the video then add one rectangle And duplicate the same shape maybe we can change the color also little gray then we can duplicate the same shape maybe one more time then we can go to folder and we can choose the image which we are exported then we can replace this image Then select all three and we can group it then select these two images and move it to the center point like this then duplicate the artboard three more times the first artboard we can push this under below like this the middle one let it be the third one we can adjust like a before Then we can add a prototype, tamp, auto animate, snap, 1.5, uh, here tamp rather than time. Now we can check it, awesome right? But problem here that video is not playing, it's because of we are not turned on the property just change it to play automatically so just double click the video so you will get this small icon and click it and you can replace the image that you want also few more settings for you to play around with it now we can check it for adding one more fun element here Maybe we can select this video layer and we can make it little smaller like this. Now we can check it. Awesome right? The middle one you could see the difference. Here one pro tip for you to record the screen. So usually you need to add tap or time for the action. So when you do that, so your cursor also will capture. To avoid that, what we could do here, we can change tap two key or gamepad now we can assign any of the key like i am usually do enter if you start the animation you just press enter now your cursor won't come in a screen now you can record it without the cursor 
that's it guys for this video